bit panels and color generation. So in this video we shall discuss that how the colorful images are getting displayed on the screen. The appearance and the color of a pixel of an image is a result of intersection of three primary colors that is red, green and blue at different intensities. So we know that we are having the triad of three dots, so red, green and blue. So how much intensity is this red, green and blue, these three dots are having individually, the combined effect will produce the color actually. So when the intensities of all three electron beams are set to the highest level, causing each dot of the triode to glow with the maximum intensity, the result is a white pixel. When all are set to zero, the pixel will be having the color black. For monochromatic display with one electron gun, obviously in case of monochromatic display there is no need to have red, green, blue, three different electron guns, so only one gun will be there. The phosphor dots glow in different intensities and black for zero intensity and white for the maximum intensity. And for the other values, there are several different types of grays. So depending and varying this intensity of this electron beams, we can have other gray levels ranging from black to white. The number of discrete in intensities that the video card is capable of generating for each primary color determines the number of different colors that can be displayed. So what is the variation of the intensity we are going to have that will decide the effective number of colors whatever we are going to have on our display. The number of memory bits required to store color information intensity values for all three primary color components about a pixel is called color depth or bit depth. So let us suppose we are representing each and every pixel color with three bits. So how many combinations are possible using three bits? That means eight different combinations. For four bits, 16 different combinations. So in this way, how many colors that pixel can have that will be constrained by the number of bits which you are using to represent that color and that is known as the color depth or the bit depth. So color depth or bit depth. A minimum of one memory bit that is a color depth is equal to 1 is required to store intensity value either 0 or 1 because one bit can have only two values 0 and 1 and for every screen point or pixel. So corresponding to the intensity value 0 or 1, a pixel can be either black or white respectively. Let us suppose this is our single bit plane and here we are considering say 1. So this one will be red. This is our digital to analog converter. So in short we call it as a DAC digital to analog converter because this is our digital value and for this particular CRT I require the analog. So that is why digital to analog converter. This is our electron gun. So depending upon this bit the respective analog value will be obtained and that will ignite this electron gun accordingly and corresponding dots will be displayed and this is the electron beam. So how much energy this electron beam will be, will be getting that will be decided by this DAC output and this is our CRT raster where this particular dot will get displayed. So if there are n number of pixels in an image, a total of n bits of memory will be used for storing intensity values will result in a pure black and white image. So for each and every pixel, how many bits we are considering in case of monochrome? So one bit. Monochrome means either white or black. So for n number of dots, n number of pixels on the screen, so what is the total bits will be there in the memory? We will be having n number of bits. The block of memory which stores or is mapped with is bi-level intensity values for each pixel of a full screen pure black and white image is called a bit plane or bitmap. So here in case of monochrome display that means with there I shall be having either 0 or 1. So for n number of pixels I must be having n number of bits on the bitmap. So this is the memory where this particular bits will be mapped in the terms of bits. 
and each and every pixels will be mapped in the terms of bits rather I should say. So, this is a single bit plane, this is our one, this one will be taken as input for the digital to analog converter, this analog output will be obtained that will give this electron gun the respective instruction and information that what is the intensity of should be the of the electron beam and accordingly using this CRT raster the corresponding pixel will get ignited and this is our electron beam. Now, in case of color or gray levels then what will happen? So, color or gray levels can be achieved in the display using additional bit planes. So, first consider a single bit plane, a planar array, a planar array of bits with one bit for each screen pixel. So, this plane is replicated as many times as there are bits per pixel and placing each bit plane behind its predecessor. Hence, the result of n bits per pixel that is color depth is equal to n that is the collection of n bit planes that allows specifying any one of the 2 to the power of n colors or gray shades at every pixel. So, let me discuss that one into more details. So, let us suppose we are we are suggesting say uh, 8 different gray scale values ranging from black to white. So, 8 means how many bits will be required to represent 8 combinations. So, 3 bits will be required because 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8. So, what will happen? Here we will be having 3 bit planes one after another, one behind another. So, this is a predecessor. So, next one will be behind to it. This is the predecessor of this particular bit plane. So, how many bit planes are you having? So, in my example, we are having 3 bit planes. So, n is the number of bits with the help of which we are representing 1 pixel. So, how many colors are you getting? 2 to the power of n number of colors. So, what will be the color depth? That is the n. So, what will happen? Let us suppose here it has read 1, here from this bit plane it has read 0, here it has read 1. So, what is the value then? 101. So, what is 101? Means 5. So, it will be read by the DAC. So, digital to analog converter, the corresponding analog output will be obtained and that will be fed to the electron gun and electron gun will ignite the respective pixel on this CRT raster depending upon the value. What is the value here? 5. So, what will be the range of these values? 0 to 7. So, what is 0? Means black and what is 7? Means white. Means what? Maximum. Maximum values here and what is black? Minimum values in all the uh, obtained from the all bit planes. So, it in this way the respective gray scales will be obtained. The more the number of bits used per pixel, the finer the color detail of the image. So, however, increased color depths are also requiring significantly more memory to represent that information for the storage and also more data for the video card to process and which reduces the allowable refresh rate. So, if you want to have more color levels then obviously number of bits will be high for per pixel and in that case obviously it will also the video card will require to process huge number of bits and obviously the refresh rate will get decrease in that case but that, that will also go uh, towards the deterioration of the image display. So, if we have the color depth of 4 bits, so how many how many colors are you going to get to the power of 4? What is that? 16. So, 4 bits means 1 nibble means half of the byte. So, there is a 0.5 byte will be there and that is a, for the standard VGA. 8 bits means how many combinations? to the power of 8 means what 256 means how many bytes so 1 byte so that is 256 color mode and this is our 16 bits means what is the combination to the power of 16 means what to the power of 6 into to the power of 10 means what 64 into 1024 means what 65536 is the value so 60, uh, 16 bits means how many bytes 2 bytes and it is for the high color in case of 24 bits we are having this respective value. What is 24? That is 2 to the power of 4 into 2 to the power of 10 into 2 to the power of 10 means what? 16 into 1024 into 1024 means what? 16 into 1k into 1k means what? 16 million. So, 16 million colors are there. So, how many bytes are there in 24 bits? 
So, 3 bytes and it is it will be for the true color that is the common name of the color depth it is known as true color. Now, let us suppose we are having 3 different electron guns. So, red, green, blue then what will happen we will be having in this way we are having 3 sets of bit planes. So, for true color 3 bytes of information are used and one each of the red, blue and green signals that make a pixel. So, 8 bits for red say 8 bits for blue and 8 bits for green. So, how many bits in total we are having 24 bits. So, 24 bits is representing the two, true color. Okay. So, a byte can hold 256 different values. So, 256 voltage settings are possible for each electron gun because 8 bits can have 256 values. And, uh, and so, 256 voltage settings are possible for each electron gun which means that each primary color can have 256 intensities allowing over 16 million 256 into 256 into 256 just go on doing we are having the 16 million color possibilities and this allows for a very realistic representation of the images without necess necessitating any color compromise. And in fact, 16 million colors are more than the human eye can, the can, uh, can perceive and true color is a necessity for those involved in high quality photo editing and for the graphical design display. So, now you see we are having the 16 million colors which we calculated earlier. So, in this way we have discussed that what are the bit planes, what is the color depth, bit depth and what is our respective color generations are possible what is the mathematics playing its role behind we have discussed that one into further details thanks for watching this video